The following is a lesson about perimeter and how to calculate perimeter. It is described in mathematical literacy that you must be able to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, a triangle, and finally a circle. But it's very important that you must know that when we are busy working with a circle, we are no longer talking about perimeter, but we refer then to circumference. Okay, let us start with the rectangle. You will always be given the formula when you have to, give, uh, to calculate the perimeter of a figure. So you don't have to memorize the formula. It is just important for you to know how to work with them. Always work, the formula, give the, work with the formula as it is given on the papers. Let us quickly look at a rectangle example. Say, for instance, we are working with a rectangle of length 10 meter and breadth 5 meter. First of all, if we want to calculate the perimeter, what does it mean when we calculate the perimeter? Perimeter means we are calculating this outside border of the rectangle. In other words, if I was going to make this, um, this rectangular, let's say in real life we make a rectangular chicken coop, then this is the fence that we are putting around the chicken coop. Now in short, if the length is 10 meter, we usually call the longer one here the length, and the breadth is 5 meter. Then you must remember, since it's a rectangle, if that is 10 meter, this is 10 meter as well. And if that is 5 meter, this is 5 meter as well. So when I'm going to calculate the perimeter, I can simply say I must add all these different lengths. In other words, first of all I can say 10 meter plus 5 meter, plus this 10 meter again, plus the 5 meter that you see here, which will give me 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 10 is 25, plus 5 is 30 meter. In principle, this is what we do when we calculate the perimeter. But we usually now find on the question papers a formula. And the formula that we use for the perimeter of a rectangle is as, follow, as follows. For a rectangle, if we want to calculate the perimeter, we say 2 times length plus breadth. Very important, 2 times, and in the bracket we use length plus breadth. So if I substitute now, I know that my length is 10 meter. And my breadth is 5 meter. According to our bot mass rule, you must remember that we always work out the bracket first. So in the bracket, we are having 10 meter plus 5 meter. So I'm going to add that first. That gives me 15 meter. And now if I'm going to work out the final step, here is no... Um, operation written. And that means that it is a multiplication then. So this one will become 2 times 50 meter for a total of 30 meter. Exactly the same as what I got there. But when I work with the formula for a rectangle, I am going to use this formula. Okay. Let us now also discuss about a triangle. Say, for instance, I'm having a triangle where the side lengths of each one of these triangle sides is, say, 2 cm. This side length. This one here is also 2 cm. And this one here is also 2 cm. When I want to work out the perimeter, again, I'm concerned with this outside border. I need to go and work out how uh, long uh, or what is the length if I go around the outside border? So, in principle, what I will be doing is I will be saying 2 centimeter plus 2 centimeter 
plus 2 cm and get 6 cm. It's very important that you must please realize that these units must be the same. I must have centimeter, centimeter, and centimeter. The same here also at uh, the rectangle. You will see I had meter and meter. If those units are not the same, then you need to first do a conversion and make them the same. The formula that we use to calculate the perimeter of a triangle is simply 3 times the side length. Now, in this case, the side length is 2 centimeters. So, if I am going to now substitute into the formula, I simply get 3 times 2 centimeters, which gives me a total of 6 centimeters for the perimeter of the triangle. Finally, let's look at the circle. Remember now what we said. We said and when we are going to work with the circle, we are going to not speak about the perimeter, we are going to speak about the circumference. When we work with the circle, there is certain terminology that is very important to remember. If we are talking about the circumference, I'm talking again about the outside border. The outside border here of the circle. The second thing that I'm going to need when I am going to work with the circle is what we call the diameter. Now, the diameter is a line that goes through the center of the circle. If I can say the center of the circle is here, the diameter is then a line that goes through the center of the circle. In other words, we call this the diameter. But if I'm only now talking about the distance from the center of the circle to the circumference of the circle, I call this little bit here, I call this the radius. So, in effect, I can have one, two of these radii, which will make up the diameter. Two of the these radii make up a diameter. So I can conclude that saying the diameter of the circle is two times the radius. Two radii make one diameter. Or I can say radius is equal to diameter divided by two. Now, there's two ways in which we can calculate the circumference of the circle. Let me show you both. When we are going to work with the circle, we use the constant value of pi. And it's very important that you will remember about pi. Pi has a value of 3,142. And it goes on and on and on up to infinity. In general, we always give the value of pi up to two decimal numbers, or we can give the value of pi up to three decimal numbers. Three decimal numbers is more accurate than two decimal numbers, but you must be guided by what you are given or by what you are requested to use for the value of pi. I'm going to use 3,142. Say, for instance, I have a circle and the circle has a diameter of 20 centimeter. If I'm now going to calculate the circumference of the circle, I am going to use one of two formula. The first one is pi times diameter. This symbol that I'm making here, it stands for the, the circle. It's pi times diameter. Meaning, I simply substitute the value of pi, 3,142, and I multiply it by the value that I have for the diameter. Now, we said that we have a circle with diameter 
of 20 centimeter. So I'm substituting into the diameter 20 centimeter. And if I work that out, I get 62,84 centimeter. Use your calculator to work that out. Another way to calculate the circumference of the circle or another formula that can be given to you to calculate the circumference of the circle is 2 pi radius. In other words, 2 times pi times radius. Now, 2 is just the number 2 as you know it. Pi, we are given that pi is 3,142. And now when it comes to the radius, we were not given the radius. We were given the diameter. But if I come now here, I see that I can get the radius if I have the diameter. What I need to do is I need to say diameter, which is 20 centimeter, and I must divide it by 2. So if I divide 20 centimeter by 2, I get 10 centimeter. And then here I'm going to substitute in the place of radius. Radius, I'm going to substitute 10 centimeter. And if I work that out, you will see your answer will again be 62,84 centimeter. They, both of the methods give you exactly the same answer. Remember, when we work with circle, we no longer talk about the perimeter. We talk about the circumference. So, in short, when we work out the perimeter, you will be given the formula. You need to substitute the values that you are having into the correct formula. And this is all about perimeter.